Hey, this is Wani McDowell from Marketing and Tech Tips. And today I want to show you how to create a private list on Twitter. Oftentimes you look at your followers and you think, oh my goodness, I could spend all my waking hours trying to keep up with their tweets and find out what they're discussing. What I'd rather you do is make a list of people you really care about. Maybe it's your sphere of influence. Maybe it's businesses that you patronize. If you're a real estate agent, maybe you need to create a list of potential sellers, potential home buyers. Those lists are going to be very important to you as you look to communicate down the line with those particular people. So it's real easy. Let me show you how to do it. You're going to go to your face, which is your account menu. Give it a click. Now click on list and then come down the page. Click on create new list and give it a list name. Let's call this potential client. Give it a description and then you have the option to make it public or private. I highly recommend that most of your list be private. You need to know if you make it a public list, then that means that anyone can follow the list and the people that you add to the list, they'll actually be notified that you've added them to the list named whatever you name the list. I'm going to call this something different. Let's call this Spear of Influence. And I'm going to save the list. Now the next question is, how do you add people to the list? Well, let me show you how. This comes up and you can find users by name or you can actually go to the person that's you're following and add them to the list. So let's take a look at an example of that. Okay, let's take this person. Now, when you get to the person's profile, click on the wrench icon and add them to a list. And in this case, I can add him to this particular list that is clearly private. Notice that I can add him to other lists so he can appear on more than one list if I choose to do so. It's just that easy. It's important that you segment out the list because then when you go to your Twitter feed, instead of having a whole bunch of people that you may or may not know, then you can actually select the list and that list will be the only thing that shows up in your feed. Hope you enjoyed this tip. If you learned something new, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.